So just a very quick introduction about who, who we are. Um, Bike Register is owned by uh, Selectmark, a um, company formed in 1985, so we're um, 30 years old this year. Um, specialists in property and offender marking and secure property registers. In 1995, um, in conjunction with, uh, with a police force in the north, uh, northeast, we um, supplied our product for the first ever large-scale anti-theft marking campaign. Uh, which resulted in a quite staggering 98% reduction in domestic burglaries in, in, in Darlington. And that was sort of our first steps on the road to assisting police um, to reduce, reduce crime, particularly theft and, and burglaries. Um, 1998, we developed Bike Register, um, and um, we're still um, going strong, in fact, stronger than ever today. Um, and I'm just going to touch very briefly on the, the other side of our business, or one of the other sides of our business, which is Selector DNA, a forensic marking product, which some of you may be aware of. In fact, um, having parked in the car park um, here, there are signs up on the, on the fencing saying that Selector DNA is in use. Um, so I'll just quickly um, touch on, on that product as well. Um, but with Selector DNA and Bike Register, we're actually used by all UK, all 43 UK police forces. Like James was saying at the beginning, um, Selectmark as a, as a company, we take um, accreditations and providing quality, uh, independently tested products very seriously. So like CyclePods, um, we have the Secure by Design Police accreditation. Um, Thatcham, as some of you may know, covers vehicle security, so not necessarily relevant for today. Um, going along the top line, um, our, our database that we hold all customer data on um, is LPS1224 approved um, and we hold issue 3 which is the latest issue of that and we're the only company in the UK to, <coughs> to hold that, um, that standard which we're very, very proud of. Um, our quality management system is um, assessed to ISO 9001, um, information security to 27001, environmental to 14001. Um, these are the two trade associations that we belong to at the bottom. Um, and this um, accreditation here uh, is relevant for our forensic marking product, Selected DNA, which, as you can probably see there, has been tested um, for up to five years um, outdoor durability. So the forensic code in the product is durable for, for up to five years when used outdoors. So Selected DNA, um, a forensic marking product which you would use to mark any item of value, so it could be um, your property in your home that's, that's valuable, jewellery, electronic equipment. This is a recent scheme that, that um, we've been working on with Merseyside Police um, where 3,000 homes have been given our, our kits to reduce domestic burglaries. And the reason I, I thought it was relevant to mention is that, as I, meant, as I said before, we do work with Network Rail um, to provide them with a solution to actually mark the cable on the railways. Um, cable theft, whilst it's, it's perhaps not as prevalent um, these days as it was two, three, four years ago, it's still um, um, a, a serious um, crime which, which Network Rail have to deal with. So Selected DNA is used on f three um, of Network Rail routes, so Anglia, Kent, Sussex, um, and last year we also won the contract for High Speed One. Um, which is something, again, that we're very proud of. That, that product, because it's not visible, um, it uses a synthetic DNA to, to link either property or criminals to a crime scene, but because it's not visible, the use of signage is, is incredibly important, um, which is what Chris was um, alluding to before he introduced me. Um, so those are the signs, in fact, that I, I noticed up um, uh, Brighton here. Um, but advertising the fact that, that cable in this instance is protected is you know, the, the whole basis of our, our product and, and um, what it's used for. So moving on to um, why, why I'm, I'm here, um, Bike Register is a cycle marking and registration scheme and with over 300,000 bikes on the database uh, we feel that we're in a position where we can claim to be the national cycle database. This was, uh, this was a shot taken on um, Blackfriars, Blackfriars Bridge I believe in London uh, where the City of London were carrying out a bike marking uh, event to mark people's bikes um, and put them on our, our database. So cycle crime, um, I've, I've found some of these figures um, on, on the internet. Um, so the last financial year, the Met Police in London reported that cycle theft was um, at a level of 17,288 
um, in, in that 12 month period. Um, speaking to police forces up and down the country, um, particularly in London, um, some of them believe that cycle theft is in fact underreported to such an extent that it may be three times um, the amount that um, the, the, the figures that the police have. Um, and that is probably because people in some instances don't believe there's any real value in reporting it to the police. They almost believe it to be, if you're a cyclist, you will have your bike stolen, which is pretty, uh, is pretty tragic really. But some, so some people don't actually report their bike being stolen if, if that does happen. And last year it was estimated that over 350,000 bikes in the UK were stolen. So we're talking about massive numbers. Um, and as I was talking to, to someone earlier, um, having your bike stolen apparently is one of well is the biggest barrier to, to getting back on onto onto your bike um, even bigger than being in a in a accident so um, trying to reduce that figure is, is something that's of interest to to, to everyone um, some theft is opportunistic but in the main it's carried out by by organized gangs um, because of the rewards that are, are available so what can be done um, what, one of the main things um, is to prevent the trade in stolen bikes um, and undoubtedly, and we hear this the whole time from, from police and indeed, indeed our customers, is that the likes of Gumtree and eBay are unfortunately marketplaces for, for stolen bikes. Um, in fact, I, I met uh, five of our uh, customers a few weeks ago um, at an event up in London. They'd all had their bikes recovered, thankfully, so they'd registered with Bike Register and then had their bikes stolen and um, thanks to the, the fact that they were on bike register um, the police had managed to get them back to them but four out of those five people had found their bikes on eBay or Gumtree and alerted to the police of that, that fact. Um, so it's, it is a huge problem but solving it is another matter. Um, you know the police forces that we talk to um, try to engage with these huge organisations um, and it's, it's difficult because um, I think at the end of the day they probably don't really want to admit that, they, that they're a place for uh, a marketplace for, for stolen bikes. So second on the list there, encourage retailers to um, use sold secure tested locks, um, particularly uh, the, the highest level, the gold standard locks. Um, some of the cable locks that you, that you might see about um, are very simple for, for thieves to to cut through, um, you know, it takes a second for them them to cut through some of the cable locks available. Um, so to use sold secure locks is incredibly important. Um, educate the public on best locking practice, which lots of police forces do. Um, ensure that all bikes are registered at point of sale and man or manufacture. And again, that's another difficult one. Um, but we're working um, with the likes of um, Evans and Halfords to to try and introduce this type of um, marking and registration at point of sale. We used to do it many years ago with Halfords, um, but that came to an end when, the, when um, senior management deemed it to be a, an interruption in the sales process, which um, was a shame, but was um, just a, a fact of where they were. Uh, we've re-engaged with Halfords, um, and we're hoping that that's going to be reintroduced. And because, um, as I understand, often these days when you buy a bike, um, at the likes of Halfords, um, they would then put it together and you'd come back the next day to collect it. So there's probably more of a window of opportunity now for, for those retailers to, to mark bikes at point of sale. Um, encourage the public to report cycle theft, which I mentioned earlier. Um, and um, of course, why one of the reasons we're here today was to promote the development and use of secure cycle parking facilities. So the part of that jigsaw which I'm sort of most uh, qualified to talk about of course is uh, marking and registration. So what is Bike Register? Well, as I said, it's the largest UK um, cycle database and the only dedicated police preferred cycle registration scheme. So there are other property databases out there, but um, Bike Register is the, the only dedicated bicycle register that's um, secured by design and, and police approved. Um, and it aims to reduce cycle theft um, help the police return stolen bikes um, and in turn secure convictions. So why, sh why should bike owners register? Well, Bike Register enables police who recover stolen or lost bicycles to trace their owners um, and that actually 
happens more than, than people might think. So um, we're assisting the police to recover stolen bikes on a, almost on a daily basis now. Um, the, the permanent security marking kit and warning labels act as a highly effective theft deterrent. So if criminals can see that bicycles are marked, they're much more likely to target, <coughs> target ones that aren't. They, they're going to go for a softer target. So um, whilst registration on bike register is completely free, so you can go onto bikeregister.com, register your bike and it's um, completely free, we do in the, uh, in the process recommend that you purchase one of our security marking kits which will hopefully um, deter thieves from, from targeting your bike. Um, bike Register is a national initiative um, and protects potential buyers and sellers of second-hand bikes by providing a logbook as proof of ownership. So via the online account you can actually down your, download your own logbook as, as proof of ownership. Um, and as I mentioned, registration is, is free. So the kits that we offer are tamper resistant QR label, um, not really a, a great security measure because all because all or no labels are permanent. Um, this label is very difficult to remove, but given enough time, you would be able to remove it. That's our entry level product. Um, the permanent marking kit, which I mentioned, actually etches into the into the frame of the bike, and that's the one that the police like and and indeed use um, very widely. Some um, bike owners with more expensive bikes don't like having this very visible etched mark on the frame. Um, so we also do a, uh, a covert version which is only visible with a UV light. So on this frame, probably can't, wouldn't be able to see anyway, but you can't see the mark until you shine a, a UV light on it and then the, it fluoresces under UV. So um, some bike owners much prefer that um, as it's less um, obtrusive. Um, and then the final kit that we offer is what we call a component marking kit. Um, this image here is a magnified version of a half millimetre size pinhead um, polyester disc um, which comes in a, um, in a glue which you uh, apply to areas of your bike. So you can mark any area of your bike including the components um, and again use the warning labels to, to warn thieves that the bike's marked. Um, so I mentioned the LPS 1224 standard that our database um, conforms to. Um, that is what the Home Office Police and Insurers um, ask for, is an LPS 1224 approved database. Uh, what does that mean? Well, it means that it's, it's secure, it's available to the police 24-7. Um, there's no annual charge for customers, there's no charge for the police. Um, and the data can only be used to help the police in, in criminal investigations. So if you register your bike on Bike Register, we won't use your data for any third or to pass on to any third party um, uh, for marketing or, or, or anything like that. Um, and the, the only database in the UK to have latest issue three accreditation allowing online checking, which I, which I mentioned. So the, um, what used to be ACPO and is, is very recently changed to the National Police Chiefs Council state that companies offering asset marking devices and private property registers should be directed to comply with Loss Prevention Certification Board standards LPS 124. Um, so that's just to, to, to back up um, what I mentioned earlier. So the police access to the site um, I've covered the, the sort of the registration and the marking. Um, on bikeregister.com, the police can um, access the secure police area. Um, and very easily set up a, uh, an account of their own so they can carry out searches on the database. All they need is an email address that has the, um, the ending .pnn.police.uk, which all police forces do, and that then verifies that they're a, a, red, um, a valid police user. Um, and as I mentioned, it's a free service for the police. So they can search on all, all sorts of fields, including frame number, bike register number, make model, um, postcode, um, name, um, so they can carry out all those searches on the database um, and the site's responsive so they can do that on a handheld device as well. Um, another feature that we've introduced which um, helps uh, purchasers of second-hand bikes not buy uh, stolen bikes um, is a, uh, what we call um, the bike checker facility. Again, this is a free service um, by going to bikeregister.com um, you can enter the fr frame number of the bike that you're buying or if it's got a bike register etching on it you can enter that 
um, and you will immediately be told whether the bike is A, on the database, and then B, whether it's listed as in possession of the owner or, or stolen. Um, so that's a, a great way for, for people to ensure they're not buying um, a stolen bike. Um, and we actually get over 500 searches um, on, on that every day. So it's, it's quite widely used. Um, we also um, automatically tweet any stolen bike, um, any bikes that are registered as stolen. So you register your bike on Bike Register, um, a week later it gets stolen, you go into your account and you, you um, mark it as stolen and, and list a crime reference number if you have that, um, when and where it was stolen from. Immediately you hit the submit button, um, uh, we tweet all our followers to say that a bike has been stolen from a particular area. Uh, one of the benefits of that is that um, people in that area can immediately see that a bike thief is operating. Another feature is the stolen bike heat map. So you can go into a, a page on, again on the website um, and you can see where the, the hotspot areas are of, of bike theft. Um, so remember these, um, currently these are just, um, uh, this is just data from, from bike register so it's not police data. Um, but you'll see obviously you've got the massive hotspot in London main reason for that is because obviously there's more, more cyclists and more cycle journeys happening there. Um, but also we um, work closely with the Met Police Transport for London, so we're actually registering a lot of bikes in London as well. If you, the further you zoom into the heat map, um, the, this sort of style goes into individual thefts. And you can click on these individual bikes and see details of when that bike was stolen and, and what the make and model was. Um, so that's another feature. As I said, we do work very closely with the police um, and we've um, had some, some very good results in terms of securing, helping the police secure convictions. Um, this was British Transport Police um, and uh, they were able to, to convict these three bike thieves. As well as just the simple checking that the police can do on, on the website, we can also provide them with data to show them how many times um, a certain frame number has been searched for. Um, so for example, uh, if they apprehend a bike thief and he says, well I checked bike register and it didn't say it was um, stolen and I bought it, um, we can actually verify that and um, tell the police whether a certain IP address, for example, um, searched for a frame number. And the bike marking events, uh, which we carry out with police forces where they buy bulk numbers of kits, and they can um, carry out um, bike marking sessions, usually completely free of charge, um, take the owner details, which then come back to us and we upload those onto the database. And we're now starting to work with um, um, train operating companies, so C2C um, and Southern, um, we've worked with um, on a few bike marking events as well. So as, as you might have seen, we've got a, a table outside, so please, if, that, if something like this is of interest, please come and see me and I can send you some more details. So the police support work quite closely with um, British Transport Police as well, um, and we assisted them uh, with, the sponsor, with sponsorship of their Lock Thieves Out campaign, um, supplying posters for train stations and leaflets for um, bike owners on how to secure their bike and other police campaigns uh, where, as I mentioned, they carry out bike marking events. Uh, we train police forces on the use of bike register and, and what to look for and what they should do once they come across bikes that are marked. Um, and we supply ID charts. Again, I've got one of those on the, on the uh, table outside for police uh, property stores, ways that they can identify um, bikes that they come across. Just coming to the last two slides, um, Cycle Scheme Partnership, uh, in the last few months we've um, partnered with Cycle Scheme whereby all the new um, registrants that, that um, they bring onto their, uh, their Cycle to Work scheme get automatically registered on Bike Register. So any new bikes um, purchased through the Cycle Scheme initiative will go onto Bike Register and it's estimated that that will equate to about 80,000 bikes per year. So just to finish off, um, I've, I've probably highlighted um, all these throughout the last few slides. Um, we're the Met Police and Transport for London's only endorsed bicycle register. There was a tender process about three years ago where we were fortunately successful um, in, in becoming that database. Um, police secured by design approved um, and over 60,000 bikes registered in the last 12 months.